Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Node.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is part one of the series. Today we will talk about the introduction of Node.js. But mind you that this is a complete series which means it includes all of the Node.js concepts in detail hands-on with live coding along with Express.js in detail again everything about Express.js will be covered and I will also cover Express.js with MongoDB and also Express.js with MySQL. So in all it comes totally 48, 50 tutorials in this particular series. I am very excited to cover this entire series for you. Please do hit that like button to keep encouraging and motivating me. Thank you in advance. Let's start. So today what are we going to do? Today we are going to go over introduction of Node.js we will talk about what is node.js we'll talk about uh, the runtime environment of javascript we will talk a little bit about node.js history and we will talk about the use cases and examples all right so what is node.js node.js is a open source server side javascript runtime environment this one line has a lot of details in it first that it's an open source environment that's number one which means you can use it for your personal or commercial purposes second so far if you are coming from front-end development you would know that JavaScript runs only in your browser not with node.js with node.js now we can use JavaScript to run it as a server on the server side right it allows developers to run JavaScript on the server outside of the web browser and that's very very powerful thing Node.js Node uses version 8 of JavaScript engine of Google Chrome that is called V8 JavaScript engine. It enables building scalable network applications and handling concurrent connections efficiently. Now what is runtime JavaScript? Runtime refers to the environment where the program is executed. In the context of Node.js, it allows JavaScript to be executed outside of a web browser. JavaScript is traditionally associated with browser scripting and can be used, but now can be used for server side development thanks to Node.js. The runtime environment provides necessary resources and services for code execution. What it means is that now you can write full fledged API, you can do all the server side processing right inside with JavaScript using Node.js. Quick note on the history of Node.js. Node.js was created by Ryan Dan Dal Dal and when was released in 2009. The motivation was to develop a scalable network application framework. Node.js is built on V8 JavaScript engine which means it uses um, an event-driven non-blocking I.O. model. It has gained uh, quite a lot of popularity in terms of handling concurrent connections and sessions. Some of the classic examples and use cases, Node.js is commonly used to build server-side applications and APIs. Node.js is ideal for building real-time applications like chat applications, online gaming or collaboration tools. Node.js is well suited for building microservices due to its lightweight and modular nature. You can use Node.js to do task automation using tools like Grunt, Gulp, etc. Node.js allows us to write an entire stack from front end to, uh, to back end. Node.js is efficient in building applications that involve streaming data like a Netflix app. Node.js is also used in IoT applications, which means when you want to handle multiple device communications, you can use Node.js as well. Last, Node.js is used to build the command line tools and scripts. Those are all the commonly, commonly common use cases that are uh, seen in day-to-day -day practical applications. So that's an introduction of Node.js. In the next episode, we will start with installation and we will check do the basic checks on your system in order to for you to start getting started with node.js i will cover everything in detail for you to master node.js in a sense you will also be able to do backend using express
that's my hope that's my goal of this series please do keep supporting and encouraging me by liking my videos commenting and subscribing to my channel thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode thank you